Hey guys, Metal Viking 82 here, back with the third video that I have recorded today. Busy day for me. Uh, this time I'm going to be showing off some plunder that I have acquired here recently. Got a nice little stack of stuff, and I think I will start off with the stuff I literally just got in the mail this morning from a place uh, label based out of Colorado called uh, Graven Earth Records. And uh, yeah, I basically order from there because of uh, this first thing. I got a CD and a tape from there, and uh, the tape is called uh, Cryptasm by the band Night Fear. And uh, yeah, this is some really awesome death metal. Features uh, Scourge of Vinyl from here on YouTube. He uh, is the guitarist of this band, if I'm not mistaken. Got a nice white tape there. And, uh, yeah, I discovered this band after watching one of, uh, Josh Armijo's latest, uh, updates, and, uh, he was talking about this, and I thought, okay, I'm gonna go check this out, because, you know, I think Scourge of Vinyl, I love his channel, I think he's a cool dude, and I thought, oh, he's involved with something, let me see, what, you know, see what his music is, you know, like, and I was floored by this, so I was like, okay, I've got to track down a copy, so I saw that it was, uh, available through, uh, Graven Earth Records, and I uh, promptly picked myself up a copy before it decides to go out of print, and uh, while I was there, I was kind of looking at some of the other stuff they had, and uh, one of the CDs that really stuck out to me uh, was a little EP, and I, as soon as I saw the cover, I was like, that looks really fucking cool. Checked it out, sounded really killer, and this is Death Crown with Living Hell. Like I said, I absolutely love that cover, as you can see. Just a little four-track EP. Band members there. Really killer death metal. Definitely check these guys out. And, uh, yeah, moving on to the other stuff. I actually got a uh, used DVD at Half Price Books here recently. I paid, like, $4 for this after taxes. And I've been meaning to pick up a copy of this for quite a while. Ever since I actually started really getting into the band. That is uh, Bullet for My Valentine, The Poison, live at Brix Brixton. It was one of those little super jewel cases, so I was really glad that the uh, price sticker came out. Didn't leave any residue, or there's no cracks on this, which is always nice. And of course, I uh, got a few things here off of eBay. Picked up uh, Oppressor, Solstice of Oppression. Really awesome death metal. I actually picked up a, a live album from these guys one time just on a whim. Because I remember hearing uh, hearing about them. And I thought, you know what? As soon as I get a chance to actually find one of their albums, I'm going to have to pick it up. And uh, I remember seeing this on there. And I was like, all right, got to have it. Picked it up. Very impressed with this. Definitely check this one out. And then add a couple more to the Mortification Collection. I am really starting to get into Mortification here lately. And uh, this one came from uh, the Netherlands. And I bought it from this guy because... One, it was actually a pretty good price, but it also is not the Digipack reissue, and it doesn't have the weird-ass logo that they put on it at one point. It actually, because this is the nuclear blast pressing, has the normal mortification logo, but this is Blood World. And, uh, yeah. Like I said, I'm really getting into mortification here lately, and I'm trying to go back and get all the, you know, jewel case editions and ones that have the normal mortification logo and you know I just, I just want to try to get as much of the original pressings as I possibly or as close to the original pressings as I possibly can because I hate when they do the digipack reissues and they change the art and they change the logo and they do this and they do that I want it as original as I possibly can and I uh, also picked up Erasing the Goblin definitely has some funny looking artwork there and uh, if I remember right, this actually had a totally different name. I think it was originally called uh, Destroying the Goblin or something like that. And some I thought that sounded too violent for a Christian band or whatever. And they made him change it to Erasing the Goblin. But uh, really cool album. Like I said, I'm really getting into them lately. Next up, got the new Tribulation album down below. Really, really killer stuff. Definitely, uh, out of the 2018 releases that I've heard so far, definitely one of my favorites. You know, can't go wrong with Tribulation, in my opinion. 
Next three are basically replacing uh, copies that I got signed at the recent Anthrax Kill Switch Engage concert, which, you know, check my uh, review of that, or should I say just my little video talking about that experience. Uh, yeah, so I picked up As Daylight Dies, got this really cheap, seven bucks. This one was ten. Got the uh, second self-titled release. And... Uh, this one, I, my original copy is actually a Digipack. I think I got that one at Best Buy. So I was really happy to see a uh, jewel case version of this. But this is uh, Incarnate. <clears throat> and the last of these... Oops, got one more show before I show this next order. Sorry. But I uh, picked up uh, Captain Morgan's Revenge 10th Anniversary Edition by uh, Ale Storm. Absolutely love this album, and I just, I don't know, I really wanted to uh, check out this 10th anniversary edition, and again, it comes with a bonus live at Summer Breeze 2015 uh, disc, so I really wanted to check that one out as well. Really fun band to listen to, definitely a band that uh, you can just get together with friends, drink some beer, and just have a good time. All right, these last four actually came from uh, Comatose Music. Had an order from there in just a little while. I mean, not super long ago, but long enough for me. And uh, decided to pick up three things. Got one for free, like they usually do. And uh, the free one that I actually got, I was actually just listening to this yesterday. It's fucking killer stuff. This is Oblivionized with Abhorrent Evolution. Really just kind of chaotic, brutal death metal. Definitely recommend it if you're a fan of that style. Then we got Cenotaph with Reincarnation in Gore Ecstasy. Hi, Tyler. <laughs> Again, really cool Turkish death metal. Then we have Devast with Art of Extermination. Really cool artwork. Nice brutal death metal put out on uh, Deep Send Records. And looks like also, yeah, distributed by Pathos Productions. And the last one, which is actually the one that made me make this order, is one that I actually just kind of came across randomly on eBay. And I was like, you know what? So this person's won like $17 or $18 for this. Let me see if it's maybe still available. Because they were saying it was rare. But I'm like, eh, let me check just to make sure. Sure enough, you know, went on uh, the metal detector site. 10 bucks comatose. So I'm like, okay, this guy basically just tried to screw me. So I picked it up there and ordered a few other things. So, yeah, this is uh, Pentagoria with And the Sky Bled Gore. And as I said, this was like a band that I knew nothing about, and yeah, probably shouldn't show the CD, just because, you know, you never know, it might get flagged for pornography or some shit, <laughs> you just never know, but um, I just, I was on eBay, I decided to look up, just to look up Brutal Death Metal to see what I could find, maybe find some good deals, and I saw this, and it sounded interesting, and I checked it out, and it's really fucking good, not polished at all, it's kind of... I don't want to say raw, brutal death metal, but it definitely doesn't have a polished sound to it. But uh, definitely check this out if you're a fan of brutal death metal. I think you will like it. So yeah, that is going to do it. Thank you guys so much for watching and subscribing. And until next time, stay brutal.